In election news, the controversy over voter suppression in Georgia took center stage Tuesday as audio of Georgia Secretary of State and Republican gubernatorial candidate Brian Kemp was leaked just hours before his debate with Democratic opponent Stacey Abrams, who hopes to become the first African-American woman governor in the country. In the recording taken at a campaign event last week and published by Rolling Stone, Kemp expressed concern over Georgians exercising their right to vote, particularly in early and absentee voting. And as worried as we were going into the start of early voting with the literally tens of millions of dollars that they are putting behind to get out the vote efforts for their base, a lot of that with absentee ballot requests, they have just an unprecedented number of that, which is something that continues to concern us, especially if everybody uh, uses and exercises their right to vote, which they absolutely can, and mails those ballots in. We got to have heavy turnout to offset that. At Tuesday's debate, the Georgia Secretary of State, gubernatorial candidate Brian Kemp, accused Stacey Abrams of encouraging undocumented people to vote illegally. Abrams responded, Kemp has used Georgia's strict exact match voter ID law to put thousands of voter applications on hold. Under Secretary Kemp, more people have lost the right to vote in the state of Georgia. They've been purged, they've been suppressed, and they've been scared. This is a man who had someone arrested for helping her blind father cast a ballot. He raided the offices of organizations to stop them from registering voters. That type of voter suppression feeds the narrative, because voter suppression isn't only about blocking the vote. It's also about creating an atmosphere of fear, making people worry that their votes won't count.